Hello, Floss Tube. Greetings. I'm Laura. I am Joe. Welcome to the Slovak Farm. This is the farm where we grow cross stitch. One stitch at a time. Today's Monday, July 15th. It's Mirabilia Day. This is, this is the course my day is going. I just realized today is Mirabilia Day. So if you don't know what Mirabilia Day is, on the 15th of every month, a new Mirabilia or nor cor or two nor two to three Nora Corbits are released. Um, so it goes every other month. So last month was a new Mirabilia. So this month this month would be Nora Corbits. I haven't even looked at them yet, and I have Witchel's website pulled open. I m forgot last month. I did the same thing last month because the fifteenth was um, a Saturday. And it was after the Sip Sip Parade event, so I think they actually got released Friday. Completely missed it. And when I went in to order some thread, I went, oh my god. I love it. I will be ordering it. So I'm just going to check out the new Nora Corbett's too when I go look at it. Um, I do need to order some threads because somebody wants to order some threads and some beads. Uh, and some Krynics for a project. That's where my squirrel's at today. Uh, and I'm just going to put it out there. We're not talking about this weekend. Okay, okay. This is a floss tube channel. My opinions are my opinions. Your opinions are your opinions. The end. Okay. This is a no political zone. Like, I actually I just... think we should, like, flash a graphic that says no politics. I feel like that, too. I, I, I say it <coughs> consistently. I will say it again. I'm not ignoring it. I'm not putting my head in the sand. This is just not the appropriate avenue to talk about it. The end. Um, Talking about that on social media or on a platform like this is literally picking a fight. It really is. So, um, And that ain't this channel. That's not what we're about. So, last week, what was last what? Last week was, last week was busy, y'all. Whew. Busy. Last week I barely survived because I had to work five days in a row after working, after having off for four days. And it was busy, busy, busy. I have a lot of work to do. Then I have stuff to do at home. Thankfully the grass isn't growing that quickly right now. Yeah, so it's the thing that's actually on my brain. I've been monitoring the situation. <laughs> it's like, it's a thing. It is a thing. Like, the grass didn't grow and didn't grow, and then suddenly it just went, woo! And Joe's like, oh my god! Because it literally didn't stop raining for a week afterwards, so it went, cha 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 chia And, like, it had grown so much, Joe couldn't, you couldn't use the mulching, Joe couldn't use the mulching blade. So the grass wasn't chopped up very well. So when I went to get in the pool, like for even like over the weekend, and you cut the grass early last week, even over the weekend, grass is sticking to my feet and my legs. So it's getting in the, the, the um, pool and have to fish it out or send oh, it under the filter. Random thing. I had an idea. I want to make a modification or two around the pool. Okay. I want to put a, I want to dig, a, a tra shave it down, and put a big old block of insert stone here underneath that, the, the outside ladder. The I ladder. I would like, I would like that too. Also, I would like it big enough so that we can have a small, like, you know those old wash trays you used to have for like your dishes? Yeah, a wash tub. Yeah. I want one of those filled with water for your feet before you get in the pool. We used to have one, so when we had, um... Oh, that broke in pieces. Yes, I know. But when we had, uh... Well, that one is from when we had, uh... Munchkin Foster Man, and we had that little inflatable pool. I would make him dip his feet in there to rinse his feet off. Before mm -hmm. he got in the little water. So. Random. I, that was kind of random, wasn't it? But, um... So Wednesday was needlework was Medina Needlework Guild. And it was a busy one because it was
was July, so we had to do a potluck. We took hot dogs. Some folks brought, bun, you know, buns and all that stuff. Although I had to laugh because I don't eat potato salad. There were three types of pasta salad, and I can't really eat regular pasta. It makes my blood sugars a little wonky. Um, and there were three types of baked beans, and I don't like baked beans. This is the first time ever there's only been one dessert. There was three desserts, technically. One, two of them were those um, frozen eclair type things that you get from the store, which I have no problem with. Let me just throw that out there. Those are freaking delicious. I may have possibly, in the past, purchased a box of them just for us to snack on, which I need to do that again. Uh, I, you know what? I just had a really funny idea that I want to do. And that cake. I don't know what that was in that. I, don't, I thought it was a chocolate cake. Everybody said it tasted like it had blueberries in it. It was kind of purple. It, it was did good, have though. A little, like, it had a little bit of blueberry, but not a really strong blueberry flavor. But I think it, it was to, actually a berry melody with chocolate. I was and say, the chocolate kicked its egg. It had to have been low enough that you ate it, because you don't like blueberries. I don't like blueberries as a foreground flavor. Um, I just thought of a really, this is the type of human I am. If you weren't with me and I had to go to a potluck with, would you like to know what I would bring? What? A thing of Oreos. There you go. And I, I, comment below. Who would complain about somebody bringing a full blown package of Oreos? I'd even bring a half gallon of milk. There you go. And cups. Bought this, I bought this stuff at the store yesterday. It's a Bob Evans product, and it's apples, and they're in like a, a like a sauce, and you microwave them to warm them up. It was in the reduced or quick sale bin because its expiration date is coming up, or its best buy date is coming up. And I was like, I got home and I was like, what am I going to do with this? Okay, so serious contemplation of just putting it in a bowl and eating it for dessert one night. It's almost like an apple pie filling, but it's not quite an apple pie filling. Literally, I'm probably just going to heat it up and put it in a bowl and eat it. Stupid question. What? Can we serve it over French toast? Uh, you could serve it Instead over of syrup? French toast over ice cream would be delicious. Actually, that would be ice cream over it, but yeah. With ice cream. With ice cream. I need vanilla ice cream now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or Squirrel. just ready whip. I don't Actually, know. no, that, that and the ice cream. Ooh, an apple sundae. I'm just thinking ice cream. Oh yeah, vanilla ice cream. Mm, that would be good. Okay. By the way, welcome to how we actually talk. Welcome to the squirrelness. Yeah, th we've literally had these conversations driving down the road, or sitting in our chairs. We'll just start t chatting, and the next thing we know, we literally sit there and go, "Weren't you talking about the weather? Yeah. Why are we talking about Venus? I don't. Well, we we were talking about food, so. And then Thursday was EGA day, um, which was our Stitch in Public day for EGA. So EGA hosts a Stitch in Public day, like an overall thing. Um, not, I don't think all the chapters do them on the same day, um, but they have a Stitch in Public. So we sat in the library, in the so we normally meet in the library. We sat in the entryway of the library and lined all our tables up. And we stitched, or pretended to, because I think I got about 50 stitches in for the whole three hours I was there. Um, and we had projects to share, and we chit-chatted. I took Lady of the Flag and uh, my cute little welcome, my cute little farmhouse welcome that's on the, what's got the, 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 the windmill thing on it. I FFO'd my four-way Borgello stitch, finally. I took that. I took something else. Oh, I took knee-high by the 4th of July. So, that was my things. And we I, we had such a good time. I had a good time. We sat and chit-chatted. I knew the lady that, the one lady that I was sitting next to lived, like, kind of in my area. <laughs> I figured out what house she lives in. Because she actually lives less than a mile away from us. And I figured out what house she lives in. That who lives in that house. I do like your house. Because <laughs> I was like, I probably have driven by your house and gone, I like that house. Because there are so many houses but on the road she lives on that I go, I like those houses. It was fun. I had a blast. You were not at Stitch in Public Day. I cannot do EGA because I have this thing called a job. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, if I was to work a shift that would allow me to go to EGA, I would no longer be able to go to Medina Needlework Guild because they literally are for the exact opposite shifts. Exactly. So, but we, I had a good time. So it was a busy week. And next week's going to be a busy week. Um, filming schedule might be a little discombobulated, you have been warned. She might have to uh, film things in a weird order and it might be a little delayed. We have family coming and saying hi. And these people are about as good at scheduling. Uh, you know what? You roll a couple of D20s and you probably have a better date than they would. I, I, I just... <laughs> It's, yeah, well, okay, it's not quite that bad, but I don't know. It will be a little bit discombobulated next week. Honestly, I'm going to full-on say next week we're not doing a video. Oh. I just, because Monday I have a funeral luncheon, plus whatever we do with, whatever our, we do with, my nieces are coming for a visit with a week with my parents. Um. Plus, whatever we do with the girls Monday night, it's, it, it's just going to be too challenging. Are we going to be filming the following week? Because we're... I, what time are we getting home from vac from Trippy Trip? I'm assuming we're leaving early in the morning. If we're leaving Sunday afternoon. Afternoon? So we're leaving in the morning. After. We'll figure that out. We'll be good for filming the following week. And there will be no more live. There will be no lives until fall. Um, between... Stuff with the family, stuff, other things, you know, between activities with family and friends, and the fact that if it's a nice night, I'm going out in the pool, it's just easier to say we're not doing the thing lost two lives. It's just easier. It really is. Until the fall. So, oh. we'll get back to it. Also, I'm probably not going to be filming... I'm probably not going to be doing much of my stuff with the Twitch and all that that I have just because, honestly, it, my options are do stream a video game or go swim in the pool with my wife. What are you again? There you go. So, that's where we're at. Uh, why don't we shout out our commenters? Sarah, June, Bridget, Andrea, Lynn, Teresa, I think? Yes. Or just, is it, okay, Teresa. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you so much for watching our video. I'm glad you all enjoyed our little adventure uh, time last choo, choo, week. Choo, 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 So much fun. Yes. Um, why don't we go into whips? Okay. Leather or cattail? Okay, this is Carolyn Manning Designs Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. That is part of her Shooting Star collection. I guess it would be really fun to do like either spinning or just have a large and small shrinking really quickly. That really freaked people out. No, I did not get much because I am the hospitality, a.k.a. host of the needlework guild so i was kind of running i was kind of running the potluck so i didn't get as much time i got basically these four corners right here and that's about it i got some other stuff up here but i didn't do much okay. i'm trying to get I'm, we're trying to still stitch on saturdays so i can try to get back to doing yeah that. we've just yeah we've decided that we do need to schedule time for stitching on saturdays we'll just not do it live because it's going to be kind of erratic so Alright, on to my whips. I have to find Alright. That needs to stay in there because that is for someone. Okay. I worked on the December Star Touched Meadow Sal block. For the cell prompt. Imagine that. I worked on the cell prompt. For the cell prompt. Okay. I know. I'm a dork. I'm a dweeb. 
I think this video is already well established. This. Yeah, this is on 16 count Ada. Because it's just easier. And I did 322 stitches, which is pretty much like right in there. I did some finishing out in here. Um, there are, I am missing two colors out of this block that are on order. When I'll get them, I don't know. We'll address that later. It is unknowable. But so we're working on it. At this point, this point I could get some. If I get done, I'll be buying it from the store. Okay. Then all of last week for self care week was stitch on a whip of choice. So I just my choice was to stitch on one whip and one whip alone, and that was the blue flowers a greyhound here. My handy and oh, everybody just loved this whip. There was all kinds of conversations about hounds and me having a hound, and my houndy is upstairs sleeping right now. Yeah. Our dog is her emotional support animal, and I am our dog's emotional support human. Yeah, that's very true. But we, we talked, I talked to several people about the hound love. This is stitched on a 32 count aquamarine. Um, you need to go there. So I have, so I finished the August block. I think I only had August and the sun in when you guys saw it. You guys have seen it last. Um, oh, I had part of the kiddie pool in, but I finished the kiddie pool, stitched the dog in, put the fan in, and then for some reason I went down and started working on the December Because it's outline. there. Because it was there. I think my reasoning was I wanted to stitch on this. I wanted to finish this, this little line here, and I needed to move the hoop, so I just worked in there. Next time I take this out, I'm going to go over there and work. So that way I come By across. the way, I think August is probably the closest looking to Bandy. It's, yeah, she's not quite as dark as the April one. And there's also the fact I can see that dog sitting in front of a fan. Yes. Don't know about the kitty pool, though. Here you go. Uh, she's probably not the kitty pool. Um, so, <laughs> I'm also in a group where we had to stitch on items we would take to a picnic. So, it's a two. It's every two weeks. Um, last week, so the week prior, I was working on what was I working on? A Star Touch Meadow Sal. So I took a very large quilt with me to my picnic because I had all kinds of quilt block stuff working on. And then I decided that even though it was impractical, I would probably take kitty pool and a fan with a power unit. One. The com you know the batteries we have for the lawn care equipment? Yeah. They sell fans. I know, but it's funny. Two, I bring the dog. There is that, too. Am I we the only person who sits there and goes, oh, we're going outside for a picnic. Bring the dog. We got extra credit if we actually stitched on the item that we were bringing. Okay, so. guess what I bring? You know what I bring? What? Fab, I bring floss. No, that really way I'm always that. fit. No, for doing the borders. <laughs> Just to be, hey, I'd see if it worked. No, it doesn't work like that. Okay. I'm allowed to try. That brings us to the weekend. And <laughs> I decided, I was deciding what I wanted to stitch on, and I was going to stitch on one thing. I don't have a fabric to start a project I need slash want to stitch on. I have to dye it. I'll do that tomorrow. Today was a little too much. Um, so I picked up, so I was going to go take something out of the trunk and then I picked up something that was sitting next to me in my chair and I was like, I just kind of want to stitch on this. So that's what I did. I did was Liberty Pirate or Booty Pirate. If you know, you know. Um, and I decided I could probably finish this this weekend. Well, that's exactly what I did. I finished Booty Pirate. This is on a piece of 32 count heirloom. 
by moi. And this was 1,455 stitches. This applied to letters U, L, Y, and part of A for the monthly. I need to do another 100 stitches for A because I got done and it was out of stitches. Because back stitch only counts as half. Or I would have been completely done. So Booty Pirate is done. been my stitching for the week. Literally, that's it. I have been jamming on this whole stitch on one thing until it's done. Or stitch on one thing for an extended period of time. No lies. Detected. Um, Hall. Yeah, one thing, you. <laughs> yeah, one, one thing. Um, I saw this, and it's, this looks easy. I might just whip this out and get this done. It just makes me laugh. It is Mary... Why do it. people do that? Can I see Mary it? Engelbert. There we go. There Mary it is in, in normal wording. It's in cursive right it's, up here. It's uh, published by Imaginating. And it's called Socks. And I'm sorry. Who was a kid... Had this happen. Well, you know what? We had we got socks as kids, but that was probably just because that was all our parents had money for. Okay. In this bag, somebody brought a bunch of back just cross stitch magazines to MNG. I took them all. I'm going to go through them. And the ones that I don't want, I'm going to take back. For next month? For next month, yes. And then somebody brought an absolute metric V-ton of yarn. So I took a bunch of cotton. There's like another ball of yellow and three balls of green of this type. This one right here. So I took a metric by ton of cotton yarn. Y'all, I was out of control Wednesday night. I picked up some beads because I have a project that needs beads for FFOing. I, these might be too big. If they are, these will work. Like that. I picked up a crochet Rudolph Arma Gooey word I cannot say, um, kit, include, book instru includes instructions to create six characters. I do not, includes everything you need to make Rudolph. So it probably makes, so it makes Rudolph, Santa, um, Rudolph, Santa, what's the girl's one's name? Clarice. Mm -hmm. And the elf, that's only four. I don't know what the other four are. I've not opened it. She never opened it because this is not something she crochets. Um, actually, I was wondering if you wanted to um, help me do that one. Because you said you didn't know if you wanted to do that, but only she decided you wanted to do it. I've never crocheted little stuffy animals. I really want to, actually. Um, waking. So I was going to have you teach me to crochet. Try that. I would, because doing, like, the regular While stuff... While we're sitting here talking about it, I'm in the process of opening it because I want to see what the other animals are. You even got a little hook. So you have yarn. You have yarn. You Perfect have starter kit for Joe to try to figure this out, huh? You literally have everything you need to make Rudolph. Uh, <laughs> what are our characters? At the end. Rudolph, Santa Claus, Clarice, Hermie, Mrs. Claus... <gasps> It's got the snowman! You can crochet the abominable snowman! Oh. I'm gonna have to find little bubble eyes. The little plastic safety eyes. I want to make the snowman. 
Well, okay, never mind. Uh, you can still crochet Rudolph. No, I was gonna do the snowman for you for your for Christmas. Like, I think it'd be really cute if I could do that big gift for you. Okay. I don't like the idea of like crochet. Like, for me, I don't know about y'all, but I need an angle for my cro for what project I do, and I prefer doing. I prefer doing stuff like this, like you know mm -hmm. the. The stuffed animals. Yeah, I'd rather do that because I think it'd be more fun. But you didn't know how to do it, so never brought it up. Well, yeah. Yeah, I might start crocheting stuffed animals, and if I do, I'm getting creative. I am literally... Ooh! Once I figure this out, I can start trying to make patterns myself. I don't yes, really uh, know what's all in this. Okay. Uh, 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 that Squirrel. extra. Uh, I could probably find video game pa characters to do. I'm sure you could probably find a lot of them <laughs> done. Okay. So then I also picked up <laughs> this kit-ish by Little House Needleworks. It's called Needle and Thread. It makes like a little scissor needle pillow thing. It's got the pillow. It's got the flosses. I just need my fabric, which I can do. I just need... It's going to take some reading. Yeah, it's gonna take a little. It's it's not super complicated. It's just gonna have to figure out putting it all together and such. Um. So yeah, I went kind of hog wild. I'm not gonna lie. Excuse me. Oh no, I'm actually thinking Go about. Back a, in. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Here, um, let me suggestion. <laughs> in a minute. Uh, so that's haul. I took a bunch of stuff. I came home with a bunch of stuff. The end. Uh, so that's haul. Plants! I just found that on my phone, actually. That's what I was like, I found a plant for Triforce! There you go. So what are uh, your stitching plans? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I said. I was looking this up on my phone. I found a simple plan for a Triforce from Zelda because I got some gold fabric. I was wondering if you can get me some black fabric. So I got some gold floss. Yes. So I can make this little symbol for uh, my diamond needlework thing. So yes. it's a really small thing because I only have one skein of floss. So I'm going to find something. I might find a little bigger version of this. I don't know. I have options. But I'm going to get one of them printed out and then stitch it real quick because I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have black fabric, but I'll look. And if not, I'll order some from Yarn Tree. Yeah, because I'm until so December. Yes. So, it, the, so Medina Needlework Guild does two challenges every year. Um, one in July and one in December. And the July one was totally green. Um, you make a tote out of whatever. You know, make reusable tote. I used my, I, I took my dice bags. And the December one is my stash to yours. And you got this weird jewelry finding piece um, that we couldn't really, didn't really understand until probably, I didn't understand it until a couple months ago. And then you were like, well. So you were talking to Marsha about it and she gave you the floss. And then I was saying that I had a great plan for my little beads. I got little blue beads. I had a great plan for these. I had the perfect plan for these because I had this little project from EGA that needed beads on it. I thought my project was in blue floss. It's not. It's in pink. But, so she gave me these little cute little flip-flop danglies. They're charms. So, that's the project I was going to start, but I don't have fabric for. But then I also thought I could throw some of these beads on there, because there's, like, some accent stitches. Instead of doing those white accent stitches, I could do them as blue beads. That would be really cute. Okay. So, let us discuss my plans. My immediate plans. I'm not going to lie. For this week's stitching, it is Pickle Fest week. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry. Her parents are actually told us yesterday they're making me making pickles. Like they 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 I, they love the fact I love pickles so much. They made it a point to tell me that they started the process of making them, and she doesn't like pickles at all. Nope. So it's very easy to tell why she's not motivated. If you told her eat a pickle or eat a bullet, she would seriously consider the bullet. Am I lying? Okay. So, I'm just not motivated for Pickle Fest. Um, so, the first prompt, that and I, yeah. Okay, so the first prompt is to stitch on something with a farm or your smallest whip. My smallest whip is my, is Grandpa's tractor, which I technically have already stitched on for this round. I do have two that have farms. Fall on the farm has a farm, is a farm. There's my houndy. There's a Um, and then Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow, I'm fairly certain, has a farm on it. Okay. So those are our two choices. Fall. Okay. Again. So then the second prompt is to stitch on a project with fruit or vegetables on it. Again, fall on the farm. I know it has fruit on it because there's a fruit tree on There's an apple tree on there. There's vegetables on there because she's at a veggie stand. There's corn on there. Yeah, okay. Um, Autumn at Hawkrun Hollow has vegetables. And Harvest, Harvest Holler. Harvest Holler or Harvest Hall. I can't remember. I always say it wrong. Has, but he said fall on the farm. Prompt number three is to stitch in green floss or on green fabric. The uh, pattern that shall not be named is green, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, I thought it was. Nope. It's on white fabric. It's on gray floss. It's dark gray floss. Okay. Now, I do have a project that I need to actually get started that I have fabric for that is on a green fabric. It's that Script Ohio. It's that Marching Band Script Ohio thing. I could do that. Okay. I may probably will do that. Um... Stitch on a whip with a drink on it. Can I be a smart horse? What? That should be a drink or a baby. Why? Because normally when women drink pickle juice, it's because they're pregnant. I don't understand. I don't... I do not remember the motivation behind these prompts. I just know that these are the prompts. Okay. Um. I'm just making a joke. I know. Okay. I don't have I don't have anything. The project that I need to start does have drink on it. Okay, starty. I also have a free pass, so. Um, and then the last one is to stitch on a whip with a balloon of some sort, or your largest whip. We've already stitched on the largest whip this go around because stitch on the largest whip whip was in two weeks ago. Um, the sampler that shall not be named has. A hot air balloon on it. Okay. Um. By the way, can I make? Does do any of the other admins from Daily Thirty watch right your videos? Yes. Got a suggestion for you. Can you please put a once per month on some of these things? Well, like, seriously, this is from an outsider's point of view. The number of times I've seen smallest, biggest on these dang things. It's so many goddamn times that people are probably developing size problems. So, in fairness, I will throw this out there. In fairness, some of the weeks are not written by the same person. There's there's a good mix of guest writers. And also, sometimes you just can't think of something that goes with the little information bit that you're throwing out there. So it's just, that's what you go with. I, I'm, you know, it is what it is. I understand why it is what it is. I try to be creative when I write prompts. I also am not the person, you know, if we don't have a guest writer writing the prompts, it's one person who writes the prompts. I get that the burnout on ideas is real. Okay, I, there are four prompts in here that I have seen before. 
Well, there's only so much you can do, though. You, you're not letting me finish, though. Okay. Never mind. I won't talk. Yell at me. Yes, it is frustrating, but there is no reason to be so hypercritical because on the other end of it, it's frustrating to try and come up with these prompts. Okay, sorry. New subject. I have to find my racket for my bugs. I bought one of those zappy rackets because I'm tired of flies. Um, so that is our prompts for the week. I... Well, if I do not get started with the drink one, or if I don't, anyways, I'm going to start the, it was the Stitch on Me Summer Band Sampler. If I, I'm going to get that started for the weekend. I just have to figure out how to make it fit letters for the monthly. Um. Because, yeah, that's where I'm at. That's plans. Announcements? Announcement. We're not doing any live Facebook Lives until after summer. We already did the announcements. I know, we already did, well, we did that <laughs> announcement. We also have not filmed a little video about the retreat. Maybe we should do that tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. No, no, no. Mondays are full. We need to film a little video about our floss... Stitching day in Ohio. It's just a one day sit and stitch. There is a link below that leads you to a Shopify listing for it. You can also shoot me an email or social media message to ask me questions about it. If I don't get the video, we're it, you know we're not going to have the video up for this posting. Also, shop announcement. Um, one of my suppliers is extremely incredibly slow at shipping my stuff. It is what it is. I can't fix it. I can't change it. Um, at least it's not two months like it was during the height of the pandemic. Things go out of stock at all of my suppliers. I cannot control that. Also, one of the flosses that I, one of the flosses that is used that I that I purchase through a supplier that I sell, there are production issues. I can control none of this. If you place an order with me, if you place the order and pay for the order, your order will not ship until I have all of the pieces of your order together. Because if something becomes so backordered that I cannot get it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't like having that kind of an order out. But also, I cannot afford to ship your items, ship, I can't afford to do multiple shippings. It's cutting into my money, because my Shopify doesn't let me split up orders. It is what it is. Um, if you are ordering the floss that has the production issue, you will not be billed until that floss is in my hand. Bottom line, end of story. No questions asked. No, no compromise. If you would like to place an order with me, you can place an order with me, and I will not bill you until I have product in hand. That way, if something gets back ordered and I have to reorder it, and you are itching to get what I get, what I have of it, we can bill you for what I have of it, and I can get it out in the mail. This is going to say now I realize this is going to make some people unhappy, but it's going to save my butt, not just money, but frustrations and forgetfulness. <laughs> and that's just what I have to do. So there we are. And if you have any questions when you place an order, just ask because I don't have everything back up on the website yet. So there's going to be a lot of you just need to ask me about stuff. Uh, blah. So that's announcements. We have, so that's it. We've done everything, darling. We've done whips. We've done plans. We've done announcements. What would we like these people to do that are watching this? Have a nice day. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, thingy me bubby, the whole YouTube shit.
Only YouTube ship. Ship. Ship did not come out right. Okay, you literally did the opposite of what I was doing. I was going to say that word, and I changed it at the last second. I wasn't going to say that word, and it didn't come out right. This is how my day is going, y'all. Yup. Well, thank you all so much for spending some time with us. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. We hope you were entertained. Are you not entertained? And we hope you join us again next week. Until then, we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.